Hello guys! So today I want to make a short video about chanters and about our gears when we go on support PvE. Uh, this will be a chanter oriented video but even if you're not chanter you may profit from the information that I will be giving here. And also if you're a cleric maybe this should be useful for you. Anyway, let's start. Uh, the thing about chanter nowadays when you go on support is that you need basically three main attributes uh, that you should be looking on should be maximizing on uh, and I will explain those right now okay so let me show my gear and uh, as you can see I have really a lot of HP and this is the first thing you should be going for right now I have uh, almost 19k uh, of HP and this is quite a lot and this is coming from socketing uh, HP 100s and HP 105 including physical defense I, it's alright but you can just socket uh, HP on all your f of your gears uh, piece of gears that you have and you should be getting at least uh, 15.5k of HP because uh, nowadays the boss will hit you so hard that if you don't have that much HP you probably die and the worst thing that Chanter can do in this game is actually to die please don't die Chanters and I'll explain why basically a dead Chanter doesn't have the ability to heal for example and if you don't heal your uh, cleric will be overwhelmed and your whole group could perish because of that. Uh, also, a dead chanter doesn't have mantras going on, and we are known for our mantras. People take us to instance because we have mantras, right? That sweet extra DPS, this, that's all that people need. So, a dead chanter cannot have active mantras. Also, a dead chanter doesn't have a word of inspiration this one word of protection and also all the other words which I don't remember the names right now word of quickness which is right here and word of wind which is right here so all that extra DPS that you'll be providing to your group will be gone because you're dead so chanters don't die uh, one extra thing that chanters should have always with them is this uh, reviving elemental stones because if you die you should be getting up real quick and uh, the worst thing again the worst thing that can happen in your group is uh, is a sh is a chanter uh, dying another reason uh, besides your group losing all this nice uh, extra DPS because of you they also have to stop, someone has to stop DPS in the boss for example and start to attacking, uh, to resurrect you which means less DPS so overall if your chanter die, the DPS goes a whole lot down and you don't want it, right? you want the DPS to be high so, okay, don't die, that's the first, that's the first lesson and for not dying you need HP 15.5k it's the minimum and you can get up to 19k you'll be just fine the second thing you need and that is really important is as you can see from my gloves casting speed right now I have 8% casting speed on my Karun gloves and you can see I'm almost fully uh, mythical except for my gloves which I won't trade I won't trade my Karun gloves for <coughs> sorry I won't trade my Karun gloves for any mythical which doesn't have casting speed because casting speed is really important and uh, you can get casting speed for your gloves you can get casting speed from your mace another 12% so it makes uh, 20% 20% and also you can get casting speed from the scroll so 29% plus title if you have plus special uh, food if you have you can get up to 30 to 33 percent of casting speed casting speed which means that you'll be casting something like healing burst 
instead of three seconds, you'll be casting two seconds, which makes a whole lot of difference when you are on support mode. So pay attention to cast speed and give preference to gears that have cast speed. And the third thing would be, uh, I'll show you a healing boost. Right now my healing boost is really low, I get only 6-1, but for Chanter healing boost is the kind of bonus that you, if you have it, it's alright, if you don't have it, it's also alright because you're not the main healer, so your heals doesn't need to be that good, but still, if you have healing uh, boost, that will, uh, of course, boost your healing, <laughs> and this is exactly what you want, right? But sometimes it, it may happen that the cleric got uh, disconnected or the cleric died or something and in those occasions you probably need uh, to be healing and in that case I would advise you to have a spare uh, a spare set for healing which in my case is the Karun uh, I'll switch it right now if I can find it I don't have a macro anymore for this. I'll make a new one. Uh, not, oops. Come on. So uh, I just trade the whole set for the Karun set, which is also HP. It's less HP, 18.4. So okay, but my healing boost goes up 492, and you can see the difference if I, for example, heal myself with uh, stamina restoration. Oh, I actually didn't hear anything. But it doesn't matter. The difference w will uh, be there. You heal much more effective when you have a uh, boost speed. Healing boost, sorry. So, okay, this is the third thing, and this is uh, like a bonus. If you have it, it's alright. If you don't have it, yeah, no one will blame you. And what else should I tell here? I think that's uh, what I what I wanted to say. So basically, you can have, you should have HP, and you should have cast speed, and you should have uh, healing boost if you can. And with that, oh, there's another thing I want to say. And most of people don't realize it when they are doing. Oh, this is my baby. Most people don't realize it when they are uh, playing Chanter on support mode. So, I will just uh, strip my my uh, weapon, so this is my staff, and I will hit that dummy, first can it blow, and now, yeah, there we go, physical defense decreased by 5%, now, second one, uh, go ahead, okay, wait, I will do it again, so you can see. So starting with, let's go ahead, my, my skills are here, Hello Strike, and then I go with Meteor Strike. So Hello Strike chain, nothing happened, nothing happened, there you go, a debuff, physical, physical defense decrease. Now the other strike, which is Meteor Strike, debuff. Physical defense decrease and another debuff, which is more physical defense decrease. So, right here you can see, even if you are doing a uh, support chanter, you can go ahead and attack the boss because you'll be decreasing its physical defense by a whole lot, which means that the DPS of the other people, especially melee, uh, melee group, uh, people, will increase. And and that's what you want, right? So support chanter is not always all about uh, healing or buffing, but you can also hit to decrease, uh, hit the boss to decrease its uh, physical defense, and by doing so, uh, everyone benefits from it. Uh, all right, I think that's what I wanted to say for this video. This was a chanter-oriented video, and I talk. Uh, I think I talk uh, really fast. I don't want to make this video long. And I also have my little baby on my lap, so probably you hear his noise. And uh, that does it for this video guys, thank you for uh, 
listening thank you for joining and if you have questions please ask and if you uh, have any uh, advice or anything you want to say just leave your comment down below and i'll be happy to reply so guys thank you and catch you next time bye bye